Hello everyone, it's Nicole Moore, Love Coach here, and this is a video about why, even though you say you want a good man, you say you want an amazing, high quality, masculine man in your life, that you may be repelling him. And if this the title is you know kind of shocking to you, just take it in because the truth is most women are actually repelling men. Most women are not able to get the best out of a man. They want an amazing man. They want great treatment from a man. But what they are doing in their energy, in their actions, in their behaviors is actually repelling good treatment from a man. Now, I want to be clear at the start of this video. I'm not in any way, shape, or form talking about taking an abusive man and making him into a good man, okay? I am talking about the fact that most women today are taking a good man in front of them and they're not getting the best out of him because of how they're showing up. By the way, if you're watching, type a comment in the chat box, say hi, I wanna know who's here. So I'm doing a seven day attract the one challenge where every day for seven days, I'm sharing a step that I took to attract in the one and not just attract in the one, but have him treat me in an amazing way. Have him treat me like a queen, really show up for me. And um, today's step was be feminine. So be feminine because that's what attracts in that masculine man that you're wanting. And one tip that I gave to get into your feminine energy is to engage in the world of your senses, meaning start to get in your body. Notice what feels good, what sounds good, what smells good, what tastes good, and indulge in that because the feminine lives in the body. The feminine lives in the senses. But I wanted to share more on this video about how you may be repelling men. So I want you to ask yourself this question. Do you have a man in your life who is cherishing you, who is adoring you, who lives to make you happy, who is constantly communicating with you, who is just in service to you? Do you or have you had the experience where you meet a man and he just is magnetically drawn to you? He can't stop thinking about you. He's mesmerized by you. He will do anything to be with you. If you don't have that, then there's something that you're doing that's repelling men because here's the deal. The masculine energy lives in service of the feminine. Men at their core, good men, not talking about the crazies or the abusers or anything like that. Men at their core feel happiest when they're in service. So they want to serve you, ladies. They want to show up for you. They want to be a good man for you. But so often, women make it so that a man can't show up for them. So I'm going to share an example how. This is actually an example from, you know, a client example that I had. So I have a group program called Get and Keep Your Man. It's a year-long training program where I teach women step by step by step, how do you be a feminine woman? How do you attract in the right man for you? So we go way, 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 way deeper than the attract the one challenge. But anyway, um, this woman got a lot of value out of my program. And I just want to let you know, like, from my perspective, I represent the man here. So I hold the container of the program. I'm in the masculine energy. I'm teaching. I'm training. I'm leading. I'm serving. And the way I run my programs is I give my whole heart and soul to these women. I go above and beyond. So whatever is offered in the program, I go above and beyond. I make videos. I do personal messages. Whatever I have to do to help these women, I will do it. So just so you get an idea, that me, that represents I'm the man in the situation, the man that wants to give everything to you. My client represents the woman in relationship. So what happened is, you know, we had a great program and then we're coming towards the end of the program. And one of the things that happens is, you know, they're in a Facebook group. And when the program ends, the access to the Facebook group ends. And that totally makes logical sense, right? Because the group is over. You're, you don't have access to that group container anymore. The Facebook group is ending. Well, she got an idea in her head that she should have access to this. And then she kind of dumped her emotion in the Facebook group. By the way, this is not like a criticism of my client. I think she's an amazing woman. But it was such a great example of how a woman can push a man away. Stay with me. I'm going to break this down for you. And then you can see with yourself, have you done this? So she got an idea in her head of what she should be entitled to, of how she wanted to be treated. And she was righteous about that. 
have you done this? Have you started dating a man and you think you're entitled to treatment from him off the bat? You want him to be treating you like a queen off the bat. You want him to be adoring you. You want him to be treating you as if he is in an exclusive relationship with you when you're not there yet. And instead of inspiring that in him, you get into this place where you expect and demand it from him and then he doesn't want to give it to you. That's being in your masculine energy. So masculine energy is I'm going to force, I'm going to push, I'm going to control, I'm going to demand, I'm going to make you give this to me. If you are in relationship with men and you're dating them or you're trying to date them and you feel like you have to make them give it to you, you feel like you have to do it yourself. There isn't this flow to you. So they're not just coming to you, adoring you, treating you like a queen, calling you. You feel like you have to make it happen. You were in your masculine energy. So this client got in her masculine. She felt like she had to make it happen. So she dumped her emotions in the group, expressing her upset at the container closing, even though that's just the policy. And then she went into this place of, I've been in other groups and they didn't close the container. So this is what women do. So a key difference between masculine and feminine. Men are single focused. Men focus on only one thing at a time. Women's brains link to every other thing and we make connections. So if you're in a fight with a man, you will remember all the times he didn't pick up the garbage if you're mad at him for not picking up the garbage today. The man won't remember all the other times. He'll only be in this one moment. So if you come to that man and bringing examples from the past, women stack pain from the past to try and prove a point to a man to get him to change his behavior, but it doesn't work. So, th so that's what my client was, was doing. Right. And so, um, and she was complaining about this one thing. And so I want to tell you what happened inside of me because I represent the masculine in this situation, because although I'm a feminine woman in this particular case, I'm holding the masculine energy. So what happened for me was I felt like a man who had given my all and it was still not good enough. I had given my all and because of this one upset, which actually was just a policy, right? Then the, the, um, all like everything was kind of being, uh, thrown in my face. I hope you're understanding me. So women pile upset. So what this person did was she said, oh, um, I'm upset because the Facebook group is closing. But again, I have to remind you, that's the policy. Just so you understand, like, there wasn't actually a real reason to be upset, but there was an emotional upset. I'm not complaining. I will close this loop for you. I promise. I'm upset because this is closing. And when she didn't get the response she wanted, which was us keeping the group open, then she went, oh, and this one thing happened in the beginning of the program. And, and she actually sent me a list of little admin errors that she thought had happened in the program, which, by the way, is not my department. And so what she was trying to do was she was trying to get me to do what she wanted via trying to prove to me that, you know, I made a mistake or I was wrong. So. This is what women do with men when, when they're in the masculine. They try and make him realize he needs to do something. And they're not inspiring him to take that action. They're actually either criticizing him or forcing him or controlling him. So my emotional response was, I don't want this. I don't want this. And it made me actually want to emotionally pull away from her. Somebody that I care very, very deeply about. And I had been giving my energy to for a very long time, invested in her. I was invested in her. And then it made me want to emotionally pull away. Now I have the awareness not to do that. And I knew what was happening. But she couldn't communicate what was happening. She couldn't get into her feminine energy. And I, I had this thought of, wow, this is what's happening with her and men. And I have the awareness to know what's going on with her so I don't pull away. But most men are not going to have that awareness. Most men are just going to feel you're trying to make me wrong. You're criticizing me. I've given so much to you and you're still not appreciative. And they're going to pull away. So what was really happening with my client? What was really happening on an emotional basis, I believe, was this beautiful container. By the way, how I know this is because she emailed me and she said, the content in your program is A++++. I recommend it to all my friends. The content is amazing. So she was already telling me, like, I love your program. And she loved it so much. And the container closing, 
I think, made her feel like somehow access to love wasn't going to be there. She felt like she was losing something. She felt out of control, uh, maybe even unsafe, because something that she loved having access to was not going to be there anymore. That's the real core of what was going on with her. And can you even feel how I soften when I get in my body and I understand what's going on with her? That's the feminine. So that was what was going on with her emotionally. But she didn't communicate that. Instead, she went into her masculine and she tried to control the situation. And she tried to say, well, you did this wrong or you did that wrong or it should be this way. You should keep your group open and all this stuff. And my, my initial emotional response was, F this, really, that's the truth, right? Of course, I'm a, I'm a love coach. My, my job is to understand and come back to love. So I did all that work. That's why I can tell you I understand where she was coming from. But I want you to hear me on this. Because what she could have done if she was in a feminine place was just come and communicate and say, hey, this is what's going on for me emotionally. I feel like the container is closing and I'm not sure where to go next. And I want to stay connected to love. And I feel like I need a little bit of support with that. And so that's why I was thinking I wanted the group to stay open because really I wanted this thing, this emotional thing. And it's not that I would have kept my group open. <laughs> that's not my policy. But what would have happened is I would have stayed in love, like that love energy with her of, I will do whatever it takes to help you. And I would, because I love my clients so much. So can you see what I'm saying in this example? She had an opportunity with how she showed up to either get this response from me. What can I do to help you? Let's see how I can help you set up a plan moving forward so you stay connected to love. I want you getting your results. She could have gotten me pulling forward. Instead, she got this. Are you getting this from men? Or are you getting them to pull forward? If you're not getting them to pull forward to you, I guarantee you're doing things in your masculine and you might not even realize it. So are you trying to make men do what you think you want them to do? Are you trying to criticize men into changing? Are you controlling and you don't even know it? Are you showing up in an open, emotional, soft, vulnerable, magnetic way? That's the feminine energy. That's what pulls a man forward. And I'm gonna tell you, Women are repelling men because they don't understand how to show up in a way that really works with men. So to, to show up in a way that really works with men, you've got to actually be connected to your own emotions. You've got to know what you're really feeling. You've got to not be righteous and think you're right. A man, a good man, will give you every single thing you want if you inspire that from him. Not if you command it from him, not if you demand it from him because you have expectations. So if you're following me on this challenge, yesterday was about I deserve and expect. So I told you to have your expectations. However, that's why we're on step four today because you can't just have your expectation and demand it from a man. And demand, by the way, doesn't just look like, you know, you should do this for me. Why aren't you calling me? It's also that energy within you. So even if you are sitting by the phone going, why isn't he calling? 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 Isn't he calling? That is a command. And he won't respond to that command because why? Men want to be free. Men seek freedom above all. Women seek love above all. That is a concept. That phrase is not my phrase, by the way. That's a concept from an author called David Data that women seek love above all, men seek freedom above all. But what does this mean? It means that if a man doesn't feel free in relationship with you, he's not going to pull forward. But that doesn't mean that as a woman, you just let a man do whatever he wants. There's a way to communicate that gets him to pull forward with you. It's just like that example that I described in my client. When she came to me with, you're wrong for closing your Facebook group, even though the, the group is over. And, oh, wait, um, you know, your admin person also did this wrong to me a year ago. Like there was an um, admin tech error. And all that, it made me want to do this. Now, remember what I said. 
I have the awareness because I've been studying love for the past 10 years of my life that when someone comes at me like that, I can get into my heart. I can ask myself, okay, this is not the truth of who this woman is. I know she's a loving woman. So if she's responding in this way, she must be afraid. She, something must be happening within her. So let me understand her. Men don't do that, ladies. Men don't have the time to sit and analyze your masculine behavior and come back to love. So you've gotta be showing up that way from the beginning. Are you hearing me? I see people on the line, I don't see people commenting. So give me some comments, guys. I wanna make sure you're, you're actually tracking me. So what makes one woman, like for example, one of my clients, um, her man puts love notes all the way up around the house. So like when you know they'll be in her lunchbox or they'll be in, he also like, um, she has this like latte that she likes and he'll leave it in her uh, fridge in the morning so she can have that latte. What makes one woman get that treatment? And other women are like chasing unavailable men and they can't even get them to commit. It's feminine energy. So why are you in your masculine energy? Have you ever thought about that? Because most women are in their masculine. Most women are in their masculine and they're not inspiring men to pull forward. Why? Because most women have a feminine essence. If you're watching this and you want a masculine man, you probably have a feminine essence. A really easy way to tell, and this is a sexual example, so don't freak out. <laughs> but imagine you're on a desert island and you can only have sex with one man like, you know, for the rest of your life and you can only have sex in one position for the rest of your life. Would you rather be, um, great question, why? Yes, <laughs> why? Would you rather be you know, on the bottom position, having that man controlling the sex and making it happen? Or would you rather be on top in control? That's one way to tell because your answer is giving you a, a clue as to your core. Another way to tell is if you're going to go on a date with a guy, would you rather have him call you and say, hey, I've made plans for dinner at Saturday night at this Italian restaurant. Can I take you out? Or would you rather be making the plans? If you're the first one, you have a feminine core. If you're the second one, you have a masculine core. This video is for women who have a feminine core. So why are you in your masculine if your core is feminine? Nima saying, OMG, what's OMG, Naima? <laughs> Tell me what's OMG. The reason is fear and the reason is hurt. So when women do not feel safe in their lives, when women experience pain in their lives, what happens is we go into our masculine because we're trying to control, we're trying to make it happen, we're trying to protect ourselves, we're trying to be safe. So if you're the kind of woman that has tried to get things from men, you're trying to get it, you're trying to get it, you're trying to get it, and it's not happening, chances are at some point in your life you've been hurt by a man, you've been afraid, and there's something in your subconscious that says, ah, I'm describing you. Yeah, beautiful. And look at how beautiful you are. I mean, you look like a beautiful feminine woman, right? So women who are feminine go into their masculine when they've been hurt or when they've been when when they're afraid. Because when you're hurt, what happens in your system, your brain is designed to keep you safe. It's not designed to keep you happy. So what happens is when you're hurt, your brain starts going on overdrive. How do I protect myself? 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 So you meet a man and you're already in the future. How do I protect myself? How do I make it happen? And when women are in their head, they're not in their feminine because the feminine lives in your body. So women get hurt. Women get scared. We go into our heads. This cannot figure out your love life for you. But this can. It's like the example from my client going, the Facebook group should be open. This isn't fair. Um, let me, you know, let me criticize and complain. And that's what I'm going to get what, how I'm, what I want. No, really, she needs to go in her heart and, and understand what's going on for her. You know, Nicole, I love this group. I love your training. I don't want it to end. I'm a little bit scared the container's closing. I'm a little bit scared I'm not going to have access. Help me, like what can I do to stay connected? That's very, 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 very different than you should have the group open. I've been in other programs where the group has been open. You need to do this. And you, you get what I'm saying, right? And again, 
just want to be clear. I'm not criticizing this woman. I, I know she is on the inside, pure love. I know she is. Um, and she knows that. We had a conversation about this. Um, Norma saying, I've noticed in the beginning of dating someone I'm masculine, then I let my feminine side come out. Then it backfires on me, meaning I get ghosted. Okay. I'm glad you're bringing that up, Norma. You're not getting ghosted because you're in your feminine energy. Something else is happening to you that you're getting ghosted. So if you're getting ghosted, either you have a pre-existing belief that men are going to leave you, so they keep doing it, or you're choosing the wrong men or something else that you're doing. Wait till day five. If you're doing the attract the one challenge, wait till day five, Norma, because is it day five or day six? Okay, no, it's day six. Day six during the attract the one challenge is when women kind of freak out because they realize, holy, I don't want to curse, but oh my goodness, this is why I've been really pushing men away. Day six, you have a lot of clarity as to why your love life isn't working. So wait till day six, Norma, but something else is going on. Feminine energy does not repel men. Feminine energy attracts men in. So it might have been that you're either playing games in the beginning or something's happening, and then you think that that's why you're not having the man stay, but it's it's something else. That's the way energy works. Polarity. Masculine attracts feminine. Chantel saying, I see where I've made that mistake in the past. Yeah. Chantel, you still have this going on with, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm not safe, I'm not safe, I'm not safe. I have to control my life on my own. I've got to make sure I'm never hurt again. I've got to make sure I never go through that again. Most women watching this are in that place. You've been hurt. But here's the deal, ladies. This, and I have to protect myself, and I'm not safe, will never attract you an amazing man. So if you're making decisions in your life today based on those feelings, you are going to be in your masculine. You're never going to attract that man that cherishes and adores you. So you've got to let go of being so in your head that you can't feel your feelings because that's where men meet you. You've got to let go of being righteous and thinking you know the right thing to do, the right way a man should show up and inspire him to show up that way, not demand him to show up that way. And remember, a demand isn't just, I'm telling you to do this. It can also be the emotion of, why isn't he texting? Why isn't he texting? You should be texting. I'm freaking out. And for all you women who are career women who are, you know, like, oh, I'm in my masculine in my business, so I can't be feminine. That's a lie. I'm in my masculine all day long. What I do is actually very masculine. It's love, but I'm holding space for lots of women. I am um, trying to impact the minds of lots of women. I am in a masculine in my business, and I have a multiple million dollar business moving to seven figures this year. And when Mike met me, I was already very successful. I was already working a lot. But if you ask him, he'll say, I'm one of the most feminine women he knows. The reason is because I know how to get out of my masculine and into my feminine very quickly. The reason I can do that is because I'm not afraid. Women who have a hard time getting out of their masculine energy are afraid. That's the truth. You are afraid that if you let go of control, you're not going to be safe. No one's going to be there to catch you and you're going to get hurt. I told you guys I was going to get real with you this time around with the attraction factor challenge. So this energy never attracts in the kind of man that you want. At best, you will attract in men who are great but may be scared and they don't fully show up. So I had a client, Molly, who went through 300 bad dates with men. She could never get past the first date. The men were asking her to pay on the first date. She's 62 years old. 300 bad dates. Why? Well, she's a lawyer. She had a very successful law firm, so she's in the masculine all day long. But her husband had cheated on her with her best friend. And then they got married. She was hurt. She was afraid. So she went into this mode of, I'm the only one who can protect myself. I have to keep myself safe. No one is going to protect me. And she went into her masculine mode and she wasn't really letting men in. And so she couldn't even attract in the men who would be great matches in the first place. She went on 300 bad dates and then she met me and I helped her get into her feminine energy, not just on, you know, one day of the challenge, 
I worked with her for an entire year. And so when she would date men, I told her how to show up differently. I told her and over time how to get into her feminine energy, but we also had to work on her letting go of her fear. So it's not just get into your feminine because you can't get into your feminine if you're still afraid. Yi Ko Lai is saying, reminds me of something that my boyfriend says, you don't have to be strong all the time. You can loss, but you will not loss, lose me. I think it's not lose me. I think what you're trying to say is, yeah, you don't have to be like this, like I'm super strong all the time. So there's a skill and an art to being a powerful woman who can also be feminine with a man. So like I said, ladies, it's not about I'm in, I'm, I'm working all day. I'm in my business all day. I can't be feminine. I work all day long, not all day long, but I work a lot. I have a very successful business and I'm a business badass. I get it done. But I also know how to go into my feminine immediately. So when Mike, now he works from home, but when Mike used to get home from work, he wouldn't get a masculine woman walking to the door to greet him, even if I had just been on my computer typing. I can shift instantly. The reason is because I'm not afraid. So what I want you to hear on this message is if you're in your masculine energy with men, it's not as simple as here's some tips to get into your feminine energy. Because if you don't deal with the underlying fear and the underlying feelings of unsafety, you're never going to be able to let a man fully in. And if you can't let a man fully in, he can never fully show up for you. Because what he wants is this. He wants to feel you. And if you can't let him do that because you're so afraid that you're going to be hurt again or that, you know, I, I've even heard like, you know, oh, I'm going to be bankrupt again. I'm going to be uh, cheated on again. I'm going to be left. If you can't get over that fear and let someone in, they're not going to show up for you. So the reason that I have Mike fully show up for me, my man Mike fully show up for me is because I can fully let him in. I can do this because I'm not afraid. So deal with your fear, ladies. If you don't know how to deal with your fear, let someone help you. I can help you with that. Because what I've done is I dedicated my life to one thing. And that one thing is how do you choose love over fear? How do you actually choose love over fear? I've been studying this for the past 10 years obsessively every single day. My life is devoted to how do you choose love over fear? That's the skill you actually need to create an amazing love life. So if you don't know how to do that, I'm going to put a link below. If you want to get on the phone to talk to me about my Get and Keep Your Man program, that's where I help women for a year. Not only be feminine, not only raise their standards, not only manifest the love of your life, which you will but also how to open up and let him in, how to let go of all of the fear that you have in your love life so you can actually let a man fully, 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 fully in. That's when he's devoted to you. So I'm going to put a link down below. The only thing that I ask is please only click that link if you are actually serious about considering my program. I'm not, I don't do calls anymore with women just to kind of give them a plan for their love life. This is if you are interested in talking to me about my program. And if you're not, but you just want a little bit of help for your love life, I'm also going to include a link below to talk to one of my coaches. These are both free calls, by the way, to talk to one of my coaches, and she can help you actually figure out some of your blocks, give you some preliminary steps to take, okay? That's if you are like, mm, I need a little bit of support in my love life. If you know you're ready to actually clear the fear in your love life, if you're done being in masculine scared mode, if you want to let a man in, then click the link to talk to me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been illuminating for you. Is it normal to find yourself emotional during this process? Yes. Do you mean the attract the one challenge, Naima? Um, yeah. Wait till day six. <laughs> um, wait till day six. I'm telling you, Naima, it's going to explain a lot for you. But yeah. You guys, um, if, and maybe you might be new to my work, Naima, but I'm not a love coach who just will give you like tips and tactics. I go deep. I go to the core. I help you solve the real issues. Yeah. So, yes, you can expect to feel emotional. Thank you. You're a blessing. Ah, oh, thanks so much, Naima. You can expect to feel emotional. 
that's good. That's normal. It means that, you know, this is really touching you to your core and you're, you're hitting on some truth here. It's about how you show up, ladies. It's not about the men. You've been following me for a few weeks. Ah, yeah. So all my stuff is super deep. <laughs> Even my Flirty Friday videos, you guys, you think they might just be about a little tip or a tactic. Secret, spoiler alert, they're not. They're very deep. By the way, if you're new to me and you're just following me, you can go to my YouTube channel. I believe it's YouTube. Uh, dot com slash Nicole Moore or Nicole Moore Love Works or just type in Nicole Moore Love Works. I have a ton of videos. That's a great first start. But if you're serious about actually meeting your man, then you got to do what those women did that I, I share their success stories. And that's actually let me help you and let me support you. And I can show you that it's safe to love. Because Naima, if you're following me for a few weeks, you might not know this that I actually was in a relationship with an emotionally abusive narcissist who cheated on me multiple times with many different women who told me that no man would love me or he was I was lucky that he loved me because no man would love me. I also didn't hear my parents say I love you to me until I was literally 26 years old. So I lived my entire life feeling that I wasn't lovable. So that's why I know that women go into their masculine when they're afraid or hurt, because that's where I was. I was very hurt and I was very afraid and I was very lacking in self-love. And I was not at all the woman that you see in front of you today. I didn't have a bright shining light. It was covered in pain and fear and insecurity. And I walked around like this and I was scared. And when I did that, I attracted in the wrong man. And when I cleared all of that, I learned how to shine. I learned how to show up. I learned how to be me. My man, Mike, always tells me, you're the most authentic woman I know. You, woman I know. He tells me, you are the best woman on the planet. And he says, you are the most feminine woman I know. I, know. I had to learn how to show up that way. And when I started showing up that way, the kind of man I attracted changed. And I couldn't have attracted in the one until I got to that place. So I'm glad this message is touching you and getting into your heart. And if you'd like to go deeper and see how I can really help you, I'm gonna post a link below so you can talk to me about my Get and Keep Your Man program because that's where I help you make the real, 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 real shifts to actually find love. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will see you tomorrow. It will be step five of the attract the one challenge. That's actually a super fun one. Um, it's emotional, but not in a way that kind of brings you pain. It's emotional in a way that feels really exciting and joyful and um, inspired. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.